Hey guys, it's Bub here. With the release of Windows 10 version 2004 sometime later this month, users on Windows 7 and users on Windows 8.1 may be intrigued to upgrade to the latest version of Windows. However, it was way past July 29th, 2015, and GWX is no longer a thing. Is it still possible to upgrade to Windows 10 for free? I'm going to show you how in this video. Free only goes so far. For this to work, you'll need either a valid Windows 7, valid Windows 8.1, or a valid Windows 10 product key. Your, I recommend to have your PC activated beforehand, however you can enter a product key during setup. This process is the same on Windows 7 and 8.1, so I'm just using 8.1 for today's example, however, it's the same process on Windows 7. Also want to mention that for Windows 10, if your version of Windows is not currently activated, you can use a Windows 7 or 8.1 key to activate Windows 10. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website right here. This is to download Windows 10, and even though it says create Windows 10 installation media, you want to download this tool. You can also use this tool to upgrade your computer, which is why we are using it. Once it is downloaded, you will have the media creation tool in your downloads or wherever you saved it to. You, of course, want to open this and give it administrator permission. After a little bit of it loading, we can now accept the license terms for the Microsoft media creation tool. It will go back to this screen and load a little bit more. Now, on this screen, it's automatically selected. However, we want to click Upgrade This PC Now. Creating an installation media is helpful if you want an ISO or another USB flash drive or a DVD for another computer. As soon as you click Upgrade This PC, you'll have to download Windows 10. Depending on your internet connection, this can take anywhere from a minute to up to a day. So, let this download. If your build of Windows is already activated, you, this part will be skipped and you'll never see this. However, if your build of Windows is not activated, you'll see this. In here, you can either enter a Windows 7, 8.1, or 10 product key. Once you enter your product key, you can click Next and accept license terms again. Now, if your computer has any compatibility problems, they will show up here. Otherwise, if everything is fine and no programs will interfere with the installation, it will say install Windows 10 and the edition you selected or the edition your product key is and make sure that this says keep personal files and apps if it does not say this which it usually it does you need to click change what to keep and click on keep personal files if you don't want to keep anything click nothing or if you don't want to keep any of your apps click keep personal files only however I recommend this one. Once we're ready to install Windows 10, make sure all of your apps are closed and all of your work is saved. We can then click install. It will bring up this installing Windows 10 window. On Windows 7 and Windows 10, you can still access your computer and open applications. However, I do not recommend doing this. I recommend just leaving it to install Windows 10, let it do its thing. After that stage is complete, your computer will reboot into this. This is actually running Windows 10 and not Windows 8.1. However, this part is very laggy, it usually doesn't have graphics drivers, and it does take a while. So, sit back, relax, and do something else. And we're done. The first thing that comes up is welcome to your new version of Windows in Microsoft Edge. We can just exit out of this. Now, I've noticed after an upgrade, the system is usually a little bit laggy. I let it run for a day, and then it works just fine. However, this is our new version of Windows 10 that we have just installed. The first thing I always do, I open the device manager to see if there's any drivers that are missing. I always test the sound, the internet, all those kinds of things to make sure that everything works and everything is present. And once I know that everything works, your machine is upgraded to Windows 10. Hey, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here. I do Windows videos and technology videos and device restorations. I will see you all in the next one.